The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman here. No, it's not Steve Rhodes for uh, Mastering Probability. It's Basil Chapman just continuing my show from the Tiger Technician's Hour um, a few moments ago. <clears throat> I want you to do this because I just had so many questions coming in about stocks. I wanted to look at the overall market in my show. You can listen to the um, to the replay uh, where I'm looking at what's going on. I think we're getting a little tired on this up move. Fabulous up move. It's really it's been very impressive. And it says to me, you're raising the base of support. However, uh, we need to see how we get into this first week of September. Let me just run these. Let, let me just show you here for uh, months no, I think it's more weeks, but it probably is about six weeks ago. There was a trend line that I said, I'm drawing this in here in the E-mini. It was in the middle of a very narrow, long rectangle. It's a technique that I use in the Chaffin Wave methodology. But I said, I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to put it in. It'll disappear. And when it comes back, it's going to become very important. And that was a trend line, horizontal, long-term trend line. That It'll just keep going because I've got it here as a permanent trend line. At 45.30, well, we weren't even close. Then yesterday we started to climb and we got to it. Then we went over it. Then we went under it. And here we are. Look how important. Just today in the one-minute chart alone, look how many times. I don't want to count the number of watts. But look at this gray line and look how many times. So it's very often that you can take a particular candle, a particular gap, a particular uh, technical tool like a moving average or whatever it is, and just identify something within it to say, you know, in my experience, I think this is going to keep coming back as a magnet. And that's exactly what it's doing right here. Okay, we're done with that. Now, a whole bunch of stocks. Let's go through this one at a time we'll from where we left off. LAC was a question. LAC is a symbol. Um, Lithium America Corporation had a high of 41.56 back in November of 2021. Made a double top. And if you look at the double top, this is a technique I like to use. We're going to treat this as an educational show as well, just in terms of what you can look at to really help you with you. Look at the way the first high in November at 41, in the 41s, look at the MACD, how strong it was. Look at that green nine period moving. Let me get to the pointer. Look at that MACD, strong nine period differential, it's called and the 26 period moving average red one. Look at that. When it went to the second high, it already started turning down. In fact, it was on its way down. But look at the double top in the on balance volume. Look at the way this stochastic, this little red and green group here. Look how it made a perfect high right here at 41.56. When we went to that next high, it failed. And that just said to you, be careful, because if you start to see this green nine period moving average flip to pink, which it did a couple of months ago, it means that in a monthly chart, it's in a big digestive phase. So you've got this trend line that I've got here in the weekly chart. Let me just, I don't even know where it starts. I'm just going to grab it right there and continue it right along there. Just a diagonal, and it hit it exactly. Normally in this kind of pattern, what I do is I make that red, I make this green, and I say, to my eye, that's called the Chapman Wave Inside Track propellant zone it fails if it starts to close under this red or pink line this is green and it went right into it now i can open it up and show you there's your double top look at the fantastic differential between the strong technicals back at that high in november we uh, sorry december we could december the 12th december the 3rd and look at this. This is in April the 8th. Look how weak all these things are. And within three weeks, you got that nine period, four weeks, you got the nine period moving average crossing negative. Look at that. But look, it's actually held quite well. And if you're looking at this low right here, if I was to draw in um, 
left side, right side, price, time match, that's bar symmetry. I could grab that, grab that. To me, that looks close, but you're probably going to just miss it because it doesn't get there. So here we go. Look, there we go. Right there. Yeah, this is it's exactly in this week. Well, this week is not going to touch that. So, so far, that's a positive divergence in the weekly chart of LAC, Lithium America. So let's go on. Let's look at the daily chart. Daily chart is at a very nice turnaround. Um, the unbalanced volume didn't make it. This, it's very rare for the stochastic to give you almost the exact bottom. And look at this. It's one day. It was one day early. It was hinting there was going to be a big turn. That doesn't happen because these are lagging indicators. Uh, look at this one right here. You see, there's the high, and then it took a little while to turn down. So this is a good sign. And the nine, the pink 9 pre moving average is close to going green. But the speed and the power to go to the upside with the MACD says that, you know what, it's probably going to stall at that left side high of four, on the 14th of August at 18.55. Today's high is 18.53. It's very good action, but it's got a stalling motion. So I'm going to put this down here. It's one that I'm going to follow. What's the price? 18.39. At 18.39, uh, big question mark. Okay, so that's there. So what you want to see is 17.85 of the moving average support levels. I don't want it to even get there on any pullback. 18.37 was the uh, 18. Sorry, 18.06 was the low yesterday. I don't want to see that taken out. If it gets taken out in the next two days, you will test these, and then it'll take a little time. If, in fact, it just even doesn't pull back, but it actually makes a higher high tomorrow, that's going to be very positive. The weekly chart says, wow, there's a lot of work to be done. But go one step at a time. So the questioner said, um, in it, you're in it. I would not add to this yet. I would just keep that position. You'll have plenty of time to add to this because if it – if the stochastic at 66 actually gets to 80% or more by next Tuesday, this thing is going to go very quickly into the 19s, and that's what you want to see. Next question. Um, <clears throat> go one at a time. Uh, was M... Oh, I wrote that wrong. M-R-D-Y, I believe it is. M-R-D-Y. Let's just check to see. No, it was Tuesday morning, Monday morning. Uh, let me just get that symbol again. Uh, MNDY. How, wait, wait. How did I get so many so different? Oh, MNDY. <laughs> Mandy, that's right. MNDY, very nice. Legs, legs C in the chapter wave, a daily chart. I drew this oval in because this could become a stalk leg formation. I don't want to go through that now. It's called a chapter wave stalk leg. It looks like a long leg. Then it's got the long oval body, but it cannot at this point, it cannot take out that low. That'll spoil it, but it could take out that high, and that'll be good. So Monday.com, I can't remember. I, I looked it up, and now I can't remember what exactly they do. It doesn't matter what they do. That monthly chart is improving a lot. Look, it's walking the line period moving average. I, I like this very much. It needs to hold. It's 178. It needs to hold 170. 74.50 all of next week. If it pulls back below that, that's a problem. But if it just steadily, wait a minute, mistake. This is a leg D. You're always looking for leg D. Good, I'm pleased I caught that. I'll be back. Basil Chapman, this is not Mastery Probability, but Basil Chapman sitting in for Steve's Hour. I'll be back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call, call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 all right folks back basil chapman sitting with steve rhodes i was lost uh, how come how come you took the time to be able to do this because i was uh, going to be trading at this particular time. And then when I saw this move to 30, uh, 45, 30 back again, I said, you know what, I'm only going to get in trouble. I had a nice move from that off the top there. <laughs> All that will happen is I'll go in and out because there's a sideways trading range. And what happens in a rectangle formation, as you think it's going to break out, it just holds and comes back. And as you think it's going to break down, it just holds and goes up again. So I'm just looking at this and saying, I think, a little later on, and maybe the next hour, we'll start to see a pretty good pull. But I'm watching this closely because when we start to break below 45, 45.30 for a 10-minute bar and break 45.25, I think that could be done for much of the day with uh, a lot of profit taken being taken for the last couple of days. Okay, let's get back to our story. So I want to go back. So Newmont Mining, uh, where was I? Oh, first of all, I didn't finish that. Now I can't remember what it was. Uh, oh, M N M Mandy M N D Y. Yeah. So Mandy um, uh, Monday dot com. Uh, it's in leg D. <clears throat> I like what's going on, and I believe you do own this. <clears throat> and it was in Investors Business Daily. I just think it's stuck in a range. And what I would do is every time it pulls back under a one sixty. It's at 178 right now. But if you have patience, if you aren't long right now, you have to wait for this long to play out. But when it pulls back, if it pulls back below 173, if it closes under this 173, it says that the rectangle is going to go even long. Sorry, the oval pattern in the weekly chart is going to go even longer. So just be real careful. More importantly, this is in play in the monthly chart but I think it's not going to be easy. I think we've had the best move to the upside. This, in fact, looks very much like a one-to-one -one that's completed. Um, so, and the, the technicals are good. I'm just saying now risk-reward is just a little bit tougher. If you had asked me, would you get in right now? I'd say, <sighs> I think the risk is, I would start, if you're looking to get in a position, starting a little bit here, and then having a six point five or six point uh, next entry as your plan based on this oval pattern, that's something. I'm going to say, hold off, let's look at it again maybe Monday. 
All right. Oh, let's look at it at Monday.com. In fact, let's look at it at Monday.com. Um, let's just see. It's just starting to pull back. Am I going to regret this that I didn't keep? Yeah, this is going to a leg. There's your 45, 30. I don't think this is going to hold. Okay, let's go back to our story here. This question came in, Newmont Mining. <clears throat> Actually, it, wasn't a, it was a statement about New, Newmont Mining and I believe Net Mexico. So let me just kind of lean over here if I don't spill the water on my computer. Uh, Newmont Mining, Basil. Uh, since the mining uh, strike started this past June in Mexico versus Newmont, the gold miners are hamstrung. If Newmont can't, can't, it gets hung out, out to dry and they're the biggest, the little miners are stuck. You know, you might be right because uh, I looked at some of these miners. For instance, one that we often buy, uh, not often, but over the years, this is what we go to just for a quick trade, is NG, NG Nova Gold. I didn't quite like the way it, 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 it stalled yesterday without breaking out sharply. And this is just a, a $4.20 stock down a little bit today. So I'm being very selective. Yes, we've started a silver stock <clears throat> more because it's a stock that I, I think is telling me more of a story on the shorter term. I don't yet know about the intermediate term. And I did expect that it would pull back, which is pulling back from our entry yesterday just a little bit. But that, that's I'm being I'm being cautious because I do believe that the dollar. And if you look at the uh, dollar DX, I don't even, I did this in my show. Look, that's very nice. Up 52 ticks at 103.69. Just real quickly, I just want to show you using just these two moving averages. Uh, look, here's the dollar. If th these averages, the nine went over the 14 to go green. This is nice, and it did a beautiful V-shaped pattern. With the left side, this is the price. The gray is, is just a closing price. And this is a 9 and 14 period moving averages. Look how nicely it went and retested the high. I, I think I think the dollar is holding in well. Just for the moment, it's doing okay. So, and that means that uh, you've got to consider that it does have a chance to uh, exacerbate any weakness in the market, which I think we're real close to. We'll, we remain short the Dow from the exact high August the 1st using some of the technical tools, and we still short the SMHs just off the high. So the, those are key positions on the short side. Oh, uh, what, I'm, what I'm talking about is you, 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 you. This is the, um, this is the uranium, energy fuels uh, uranium company. I'd say the one I prefer is the one that we actually own, which is UEC. Uh, um, and that is having a pullback, which we expected after a fabulous, nice, great percentage move up, uh, straining it down 12 cents. I still think this is the better out of the two. So the question remains, yes, and the answer remains to say, hey, did I just hear a bell ring? Did I hear a bell ring like it was a peak F top? Let me just check right here. <clears throat> We've got Garo, Garo, Newport Beach, California. Garo, how are you? How are you, sir? Haven't spoken with you for a long time, Mr. S A R himself, right? Yes, sir. It's a few years. You're absolutely right. Um, I never forget you, Professor. Never ever forget you. I you're, don't you're forget great. you. You're very knowledgeable. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Enough. Enough with the compliments, Carol. What are we looking at? No, no, no. It's not a compliment. That is true. Oh. When I tell okay, you, Professor, I'm, I mean it. I'm, I just mean it. Yes, sir. Um, what I'm looking for is for SQ, Sam Queen. Um, on my daily chart, it, I use the SAR parabolic all the time, and it yes. does miracles to me. Uh, and you've just uh, now got a buy signal. the third day that the uh, uh, three dots are at the bottom. And the, the candle is above the five-day simple moving average. I wanted, I wanted your blessing and see that if it's positive. You see that is it a, uh, this is a way, uh, this is the, the, the beginning of uh, uptrend up of this stock or still there is a pullback? Yes, sir. So, Garo, I have kept, I used to have them years ago, decades ago, the SAR, and then I had them off. And then I used to hear you and you called me and I, I kept them on one of my charts. I always keep it and I keep it because I believe if you have a technique and then someone mentions a different technique that is additive to your work, I like to include it. So I do, I, I'm, I, I have to also admit that I kind of forget to look at it most of the time, but I have it on my chart. And at my peak G, in, and I, you know, 
<laughs> all the companies <laughs> that change their names, they deserve to get hammered and clobbered, which they did. Square becomes block. Yes, I mean, block, yeah, I understand it makes sense, but Square was true. Ah, great. Point of sale, software, mine, managing and receipts. Um, Facebook goes to, oh, man, you know, Google goes to Alphabet. I mean, what is going on here? So they changed yeah. their name. Well, it yeah. serves them right. They were... Yeah. They went from 289 yeah, yeah. back in August of 2021 down to 51 in October of 2022. Well, got it. So, okay. So if you look at the monthly chart, it's made an H. I don't know if you remember, you remember I talked about the dreaded H pattern where you come down sharply, try to rally fail and retest the left side low. Well, the monthly and weekly charts have done that. So we're on with Garrow. Dow's up 48, S&P's up 9, Square is up 30 cents. We'll talk about it because I don't think it looks that great. I'll be back in a moment. Look at that. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So we're on with Garrow. Hi, Garrow. We're back. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. So, Garrow... You know, there are times where you, and I don't have to tell you this because you've done this hundreds and hundreds of times using the uh, uh, SAR, the parabolic. So what we're looking at here is that, yes, you did get your dots. There was a little doji candle. There was a low on square. Um, 
I should call it Block, that's its name, Block Inc., formerly known as Square, 34.73 was the low on the 18th of August, retested a little higher, 54.97 on the 25th. But if you look, I don't know if it, can you see my charts? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So you see this daily chart, you see the way the MACD, this is the MACD I'm circling right here, has turned positive. Look at the stochastic, it's gone from zero practically. Gosh, this was the worst you can get. It was down at 1%. I mean, 1% for the stochastic, that is really weak. It has only one way to go after that, and that's up and now it's at 28%. But look, the price really hasn't gone incrementally higher. Um, and the on-balance volume is kind of weak. So I'm just going to suggest to you that it might not be that it isn't a buy because it's not going immediately up into the 60, 62 area. It might be a process. So this I'm going to put, if you're watching me closely, what I like to do in this particular instance, I go to the left side candle of note. This is a little reversal candle right there. And I draw in a rectangle. And it says to me that we've got one arch formation right here, that's the dreaded H, with a successful test on the right side. Now we've got a second arch. If this arch closes two bars out of three above the high that was made on the 22nd of August, which was 58 round number high, today's high is 58.50, it's trading at 58.09 right now. So if it closes two days above that, it says, good, now you've got a little bit of upside momentum and it can take you to the next left side high. And that's the high that we looked at over here of 58.95 with the next one being 60.36, the, the candle of the 15th of August. But you see right. the way it's basically sideways. Now, I don't have to tell you because you'll know that a lot of the time when you get the SAR turning around, it's a pretty speedy process to tell you whether or not it's going to be successful or not. Usually by the third dot, especially the fourth dot, you're kind of pretty much away from the first dot. And in this particular instance, it's not really doing that. It's kind of stalling. So I'm going to say yeah. to you, for, for the type of technique, if I'm correct in my memory of what you like to do is that you like to get it and very quickly, you know whether you're right or wrong, and then you can handle the trade. And usually, you will get out as soon as you satisfy there's enough percentage or whatever it is, points to the upside or downside. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I, yeah, I follow and you. I, yes, sir. I, uh, I don't see that here. I think it's kind of stuck. And if this market starts to pull back, which I think it's in the process of just about to do the first couple of days of September, I think that square, well, at least I should call it block, will come down. So I don't think this um, fits my parameters that I would be looking at to use the SAR the way you do. The way I'm looking at it here, it's using, it's usurping upside energy without the commensurate rally. I, I hope see, that I makes see. sense. <laughs> so, so for you, if by the end of the day, it goes under 57.90, I don't think it's going to be successful unless tomorrow is just a brand new big surge to the upside in the market. And I, I don't think they're going to do that before the long weekend. I hope yes, that helps sir. you. My number is very close. Mine is 57.24. If it goes below 57.24, again, You're done. it's going to go down back to 55.50. Yeah, because uh, let me bring that to you. I have one minute more just to give you uh, just a hint that what I'm doing according to what can I do? I have the permission or should I hang up? Go, go ahead. Sure, go ahead. Yeah. If you draw two lines, one is 200 EMA. And one is 12 EMA. Yeah. And if you if that 12 EMA crosses the 200 EMA, at that point where you go long, that trend changes. On 29th of uh, August, uh, uh, August, right at where it was 56 dollars and 87 cents, where that. 12 minute cross that 200 EMA. From that point, and now this is the third day that is going up. 
Now, if that rolls down and comes and hits that 200 EMA, which is $57.24, from there on, if it goes below that 200 day, then the short starts. So this is something that according to that 212, 200 EMA and 12 EMA, I just uh, uh, decide uh, which way to go, which way to get out. So uh, I've so got exactly the same thing. In the future. So, Gara, I'm yeah. using, i got the 200 period moving average here, EMA, <clears throat> and I've got my usual 9 and 14, and the 9 cross positive on the 10-minute 10 10 chart at 3.30 on um, the 28th, and the, uh, uh, and, a, and the price crossed the 200 period moving on the 29th <clears throat> at 10 to 10 Eastern time. So, yeah, I can see exactly what you're looking at. But you can see that it's starting to stall a little bit. It's not breaking down. It's just not going much higher. Yes, yes. Mine is 15 minutes here. I go with it. I don't trust the 10 minutes. 10 minutes always give, it's a tricky. Five and 10, forget it. But 15 is you buy a little bit, you buy high and you sell higher. On 15 minutes, if you go uh, 12 minutes, uh, and 200 minutes, it is. Uh, it was on 29. Your yours was on 28. You see, yours was a lead. It, it leaded that uh, 15 minutes. Yes, mine was right. a lagger. Yeah. Yes, so sir, yes, I, I, I I like exactly what you're doing. I understand it. I think you're correct. So let's let's just watch this one. Um, you've got everything in place. You know what has to happen. It really square has to at this point. Intraday, I don't think it's going to do it, but what you really would like to see is that the 58.50 high is yes, taken yes, out yes. at about 2.15 this afternoon. That's Eastern time. If that happens, there could be a little bit of a surge to the upside. That's what you want to see. Hope that helps yes, you. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. You know, on a daily chart, on a, on a daily chart, if the five-day simple move average crosses the 21-day simple, which is at the junction of $59 and 52 cents, this is today's price. Tomorrow will change. And right. from that moment, that five-day simple crosses the 21, from day on, the long goes on and on and on and on. Uh, okay. The, 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 Good. I like yes, your sir. thinking, and uh, good luck with the trade. Let's see what happens. Thank you so much for it. Wonderful to hear from you again, Garo. You too, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a nice, good long weekend. Thank you, sir. And you Talk too. To you again. Bye bye. Thank good. you very much, uh, folks. We'll be back. Uh, Basil Chapman sitting in for Steve Rhodes. Hour. We'll look at Tesla next. Number of actually coincidentally about three or four people have asked me to look at Tesla and Apple. I'll do that as soon as we return. Now, You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, 
you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Yes, it's Mastering Trading Possibility. This is not Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman. I'm sitting in here. My show is the Tiger Technician's Hour, 8, 10 o'clock to 11. But I wanted to do this because I just had so many questions about uh, stocks that I, I just thought I'd take the time. So I, I didn't finish on Newmont Mining, Gold Miner. Um, 86.37 was the uh, high back in April of 2022, and it plunges down. So I have a technique, first of all, the uh, with Garrow, uh, we were speaking with a moment ago. The parabolic SAR, uh, the par parabolic SAR is a technical indicator developed by J. Wiles Wilder to determine the direction that an asset is moving. I wonder if in 20 years' time, or 30 years' time, or 40 years' time, they'll be talking about the some of my Chapman Wave techniques that I've uh, used forever. Um, anyway, uh, we'll see. The indicator is also referred to as a stop and reverse system, SAR, which is abbreviated as SAR. It aims to identify potential reversals in the price movement of traded assets. So look, here's your dots. You see the little dot? Oh, okay, let me just see on the chart. Yeah, you can see it. So right over here at this peak D in the Chapman wave, we've got a pullback starting, right? In the Chapman wave methodology at a peak D, the fourth highest peak, that's where other things can happen. A buy signal upgraded to a buy mode should take you to at least four higher peaks. You know, Dave, uh, Steve also has my notation, the Chapman wave notations. So this is the fourth highest peak, and there it is in the daily, there it is in the weekly. <clears throat> this went to a D and then an E and then an F at 86.37 in April. And look at that beautiful symmetry in time. <clears throat> going to the high in April of 2022. Well, Newmont Mining came down, and you can see there's the um, SAR. I've got it. I always have it on this chart just to sit there half the time. I don't see it just the same as a half. Why do you ever see this 50-period moving average? Because I only use it periodically. And then look what happened. Right here, this chuff G, the very next bar, I mean, this is a fantastic tool, but you really, as Garrow does, you've got to know how to use it because... When it doesn't work, it can cost you because you're looking for something that actually isn't there. Look, it turned around, gapped, and then filled the gap. But look at the pink nine-period moving average. It hasn't turned positive, and it's struggling to po turn positive. So I think Newmont Mining is, is a clue to me to say not all the stocks in the gold and silver area are going to really work. Uh, in fact, this is, this is a questionable moment because – that dollar is still strong if there is that direct relation. So, but I'm just looking at the chart. The weekly chart's are horrible. Here's your dreaded H pattern. This is a pattern that I call uh, where it's a straight line down, and then it tries to have a bounce. And at a peak A or B, it fails. We're seeing that all day today in the, look how many dreaded, look, lowercase h, sharp move down, arch formation, fails at a peak A or B, and then takes out the left side low. It did that there. It did that there. 
He did that there. And he has a bigger one. I don't think it's going to, I'm not sure if it's going to do that here because the, the 30, 38 to 30, 38, 20 to 37, say 60, should be good support, but uh, it's not showing strength. So that's why I'm looking at it. So that was Newmont Mining. Just be careful. And I agree with you <clears throat> about the strike and all the other things that are going on. But sometimes when things really go catch a, catch a light, when they're on fire, and for you go, uh, you can see everything gets dismissed. All the negatives are dismissed. And tomorrow in my, uh, in my Tiger Technicians Hour, I'll be doing this a lot of talking about this chart here, which is my dark news, chapter wave dark news cloud cover using the Dow Daily chart because that has been under pressure. And now we'll see whether, look, it's still pink. Just about a turn green, but it hasn't turned green. All right. So, okay. So that was, now we've got to test that. <clears throat> oh, wrong chart. I <laughs> indeed you. I got it. Yesterday I was going to do my, just about to do my show, but all of a sudden I couldn't get any sound. I, I, evidently the chart was showing, but you couldn't hear me. And why was that? Because I don't know if you can see it, but in the microphone, I, I'm busy connecting and unconnecting and restarting, doing all sorts of things, but I pull the plug out from the microphone without realizing. So easy. I called all my different people, technical people. Al, my engineer, we're all working on it. All I had to do was go put it back in again. So Tesla, now I've got the right chart. Nice move up from the low. Look, there's the SAR. Look, it went the day after the high of 299.29. Yeah, that smashed to the downside. Look, there's the SAR. You see those red dots? Look at the green dots. You can barely see them. I like to keep them faint because I don't use them all the time. But look how it confirmed a buy signal to buy mode because the stochastic's now at 87%. 87%. The MACD's good, not great, but good. On balance volume has turned positive. So it says there's internal, <clears throat> sorry, there's, Residual strength in the in the Tesla chart. The monthly chart did the one to one. It's done all the Fibonacci's, done everything. Six one eight turned around, came down, he held the three 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 eight two level. I always just keep these there until it looks to me like it's getting messy. So far, this is messy, but very uh, easy to see. This is the monthly chart and the weekly chart. The nine is still positive over the fourteen. MACD just a negative, looks like a dolphin. It's my dolphin pattern. And it's going to make it an M-shaped pattern by a little bit of a bounce. <clears throat> That's why I'm saying go one step at a time here because there are certain things, like I mentioned in my show, we missed an entry today in Hack. This is the ETF, Prime Security, Cybersecurity ETF. Look at this. This is fabulous action. Not just the monthly chart, but the weekly chart, new leg E. I'm calling this a B, although I, re I should do this because it didn't take out the left. Oh, it did. Took out the left side low, so I have no choice. Yep, this is a brand new leg B. No matter what happened, it could fail. So it's acting well. We missed it, and it gapped up, and poof, it's up and away. So it's just saying to me, finally, you've got the cybersecurity stock. So you can have a rotation here with some of the others that were lagging. We were talking about Triple M earlier on. Look, Triple M, nice move up, not great, but look. Hey, has Disney done the same thing? Ah, Disney's really struggling, but it's trying to form some kind of a base. Is the dreaded H. Lowercase H goes to a lowercase M right there. So there'll be some stocks in the next phase up that suddenly come alive. All right, now, so that was Apple. Uh, that was Tesla. So Tesla's acting well. Uh, key support is at, the, it's at 259 and a half. Key support is at 249. A close in the next week below 249 starts a potential dreaded H pattern if it's at a peak B. If it goes to a C, it might it might still have further upside action. This is acting independent. Look, NEO. Uh, uh, this is an electric car company or electric automobile. It's just struggling. R-I-V-N. Uh, so, yeah, look at the Rivian stuck at the 200 period moving average. Um, what was the other one? Uh, oh, I had it the other day. I wrote it down. Now I can't find it. In the auto electric auto company. Oh, Fisker. F S K R. That was, that was an interesting chart pattern. Is it F S K R? K R? 
Yeah, a mistake. FSK? FSK? Yeah, FSK. Oh, no, that's FSK. No, that's KKK Capital. Yeah, isn't this interesting? KKR Capital Corporation. Nice move in the daily and the weekly charts. Uh, what is FSK? An XPOV. Yes, XPEV. Yeah, so Tesla is still the boss. It's the king. Um, I'll be back. Bowser Phoenix. There's Steve Rhodes Hour. I'm doing a Basil Chapman. I'll be back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Roads and we're looking at, uh, don't forget, my show is the Tiger Traditions Hour 10 to 11, and uh, my service is the opening call daily newsletter. What we're looking at here, and I did a webinar just the other day on the awesome, many of these techniques are really a technically oriented uh, focus, and on the weekends, I always do about an hour webinar looking at what's happened, what's what, what to look forward to, and our positions that we have doing a deeper analysis. So always think of magnet lines. Every time you're looking at something, think about where does it keep wanting to go to? Where is the point? I call it the magnet line. 4530 was a line that I identified weeks and weeks ago. We didn't even, we went, we plummeted from there and we went down. All of a sudden yesterday it became focused and look at the zigzag we've got. Here's the one minute chart of the E-mini. Look at this. Where are we now? We were just moment to get 45.30, now we're at 45.31 in the E-mini. Just, uh, just keep it in mind, it really helps because, as I said, I wanted to do Steve's show because I knew that if I was doing some trading here, I would, I could have been trapped because of the zigzag sideways and a very narrow, narrow trading range. And I said, hey, just step aside. You had a nice move earlier on. 
Now you just have to take it easy. So now as we're wrapping up the show, uh, Annette is A-N-E-T, Arista Networks. It's funny how many network things I've been getting in the low price stocks and all that are showing very nice strength. This is at an all-time high, I believe. <clears throat> Trading at 194, up 7. Now if you're long, Zip, I'm just going to say to you, stay long. <clears throat> this looks fabulous. I would do this. Because it's at an all-time high, stocks that make all-time highs tend to remain then keep coming back to that level as a new time high participant over a period of weeks until they really get smashed because of a horrible earnings report. So far, this is good. Check when the earnings are. Maybe this is the earnings right here in August and it's spiked up, hasn't come back. Stay with the trade. If you want, just for money management purposes, take a little bit off here. You've got a really nice gain. Um, if you're looking to buy, it's real tough. Um, you could, I would look at an option, and maybe I'll do that in my show tomorrow. I'll make a note in my Tiger Technician's Hour at uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, ANET, and I'll look at maybe for an option and how to play it. Maybe you can look at October even, and you don't have to do anything. You just have to put the analytic run buying at a high. So with that said, have a wonderful rest of the day. Great programming today. Of course, Steve is... Uh, Steve is out, so I'm doing the show. But you'll have uh, uh, Larry Pizzaventa and, and Tom O'Brien. Um, hey, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. I get to Christmas hour at 10 o'clock. Hope to see you there.